Hey guys, I'm Aaron Lavoy with Appleton Steel and I'm here with Bryant Hess, owner, manager, CEO, sweep, floor, floor sweeper, sweeps the floors. And um, today we're gonna show you how to change your jack spring. Jack, jack tube springs. Jack tube springs. Mine's broken and it's a great opportunity to give an instructional video. I know a lot of people, when they break, they, they're asking on Facebook how to do this. So we're gonna do, Bryant is going to show you how to do it. All right, so I'll show you what's going on here. We have my jack tube rat, ratchet strapped up because the spring is broke, it retracts it. See how this one fell down and this one is still in the up position. So what we're doing is we're, we're gonna lock in the jack tube, the internal one, so that we can work on getting that, the foot out of the inside of the internal jack tube. And by the foot, you mean this? Yeah, so, so the way this, this is built here is you got the external one, which you can all see when we paint, and then we've got the, a jack tube that slides up and down in there. It's connected to our chain system that uh, this chain here pulls down on that inner jack tube to lift the chute up. And on the inside of that jack tube, you've got this thing here. Now, a lot of guys never use this, but you have the, uh, the, the opportunity to level your chute if you're on unlevel ground. And you can pin this up in here, which I'll show you in a second. Step on the bottom of this, and you can then put a pin in here so that one side of your chute can be a longer leg and therefore keep your chute level on, on uneven ground. So first thing we're gonna do is take the chute off the truck. Get my truck out of here because we're gonna have to lift the chute all the way up, lower it back down onto some safety stands. By the way, you want four safety stands for this job. So if you don't have four safety stands, you need to go to a buddy that does, go to one of your farms, but you must have four safety stands. Two in the front, two in the back. So the tools you're gonna need for this job are an impact driver, a three quarter inch socket, three quarter inch wrench, a seven sixteenth socket, a seven sixteenth wrench, a knife, some string. You're gonna need either a smaller bolt or screwdriver to be used as a detent. And you're gonna want some sort of sledgehammer. Now we're gonna lower it down onto the stands and we're gonna retract the feet up inside. All right, so now we've got the chute elevated on the safety stands. We've got the feet retracted or at least the feet that don't have broken springs are retracted. So now we're gonna have to pull both of the feet all the way up and insert a detent into this hole and there's another little hole inside of there. There. Oh yeah. We wanted to break loose this foot from the interior jack tube. Now he's got that broken loose. I'm gonna take off this bolt, which goes through the top end of the spring. Okay, so that bolt there goes through the spring. So that spring is gonna retract when that bolt comes all the way out. So there's a little pressure, a little tension on it. So anytime you do one jack tube spring, do both jack tube springs. When that one breaks, this one's pretty about, soon to come behind it. Just so. about to. Okay, so this is how it is. And then that bolt was through the top end. Uh, when it breaks, it breaks either on, on this part right here or on the bottom here, but usually up on top it'll break. A new design on these front jack tube springs. It doesn't have that, uh, right here, that they just bent the top of the spring up so you can hook into it. This one here has an independent piece. And so it's got that little, uh, little cup on the inside. So it doesn't have that breaking point. It's this putting one has, a, lot so. of, a lot less tension on the top and bottom. So what we'll do is we're gonna cut this off of here and then I'm gonna grease this up real good so that whenever it has to come out again, if it does, then it'll slide right back out again. Although I'm pretty impressed with this chute here, Aaron. Usually that's a little, a little rustier setup than what you got going on here. So wonderful nice. example of how to maintain your chute. <laughs> we are all about cleanliness and maintenance here. <laughs> well, really for, um, for a six year old chute, I'd say mine's in pretty nice condition. All right, so we're just gonna grease this foot up. So here's the trick right here is we gotta run a rope down here and tie it to the end of our, of our, of our spring. And that's just gonna allow us to pull it back up in here high enough to get our bolt back in. There we go. 
What we're gonna do in the end here is we're just gonna cut the end of this rope once we get all the way up there. So here we go. Flop that down. Get this started. We'll grease on the floor. Don't show Dave that. So once you've got that all fed in there, you're gonna need to keep the, the foot pulled all the way up. So we're just gonna ratchet strap it up real quick so that we can take our screwdriver out and feed the bolt through the spring. Again, what we gotta do is we gotta watch through the top hole here until our spring passes by. We need to put this bolt in through it. There it is. Are we there? Yep. We're good? Oh, there we go. All right, we got our bolt in. One down. All right, perfect. So on this side of the chute, we have to take this nut off of the height adjustment rod here before we hammer this foot out. Okay, so all the spring didn't come out because part of it's hung up on our screwdriver. So we're gonna strap up the inner jack tube so we can pull the screwdriver out. And there's the rest of my spring. Don't forget if this screwdriver comes out now or bolt whatever you have stuck into that jack tube, it's gonna come out here on the bottom and it's gonna be nasty and you're gonna have to shove it back up in there. Couldn't be any worse than a pussy abscess, could it? I'll take a pussy foot over a greasy seven-year-old jack tube. <laughs> okay, so we got the string out again and we got the spring just tying it on. Well, it's not necessary to have a second person, but I think Bryant would agree that it's kind of helpful or, or maybe not with me being your second person, huh? <laughs> Probably could have done a little better with a helper, but I'm all you got. So I guess pretty much you do want an extra set of hands. They don't have to be skilled though, really. All right, that is all there is to it. Um, we wanna, don't forget to take our strap off before we lift the chute back up, put it on the truck. Hope this video helped you guys. I honestly had no idea how this worked or what was all in there. But hopefully with this video showing you how to do it, you can change yours. If it's your first time, it might take you half an hour. Uh, but honestly, once you've done it once, you're gonna take probably 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It only it. took you an hour because I was helping. Until next time, catch you on the flip-flop. Bye.